Avatar, fire and ashes, jaw-dropping visuals are an immersive experience like no other. But behind every breathtaking visual is another world inhabited by engineers, shaping every second of every moment under the seasoned direction of this guy, the iconic James Cameron. So how did engineers help create the wonderful world in the Avatar films known as Pandora? In Avatar Fire and Ash, James Cameron once again invites audiences to Pandora for a new spellbinding journey with Marine turned Navi leader Jake Sully, warrior Neytiri, and the Sully family. Hello, Circuiteers. Avatar Fire and Ash continues the massive technological advancements we first saw in the original Avatar film released back in 2009. This time around, engineers are once again helping in that process by capturing human performances and translating them authentically onto digital characters to preserve every blink and breath with the use of performance capture technology. To bring the characters of Avatar to life, engineers built one of the most advanced performance capture systems ever used in filmmaking. Production teams engineered large optical camera arrays to track full body movement in three dimension spaces. For underwater scenes, customized camera setups tracked swimmers from multiple angles. This enabled actors to give real underwater performances for capturing. Actors wore helmet mounted facial capture rigs that were equipped with miniature cameras positioned just inches away from their faces. These systems recorded subtle eye and muscle movements, capturing every inch of an actor's nuanced performance. Then machine learning tools took this capture motion data, stabilized and cleaned it up, ensuring accurate translation into the CGI characters of Pandora. This blend of biochemical engineering, machine vision and computational processing transformed real human motion into the convincing digital lives of the Navi people. Once engineers captured those incredible performances, their second task was to help film in a world that physically did not exist by syncing lens data to digital sets, reflections, shadows, and perspective all behave like the real thing. It's called virtual production. After performances were captured, engineers used virtual production systems to construct scenes in real time while filming was still actually happening. Digital Pandora environments were instantly visualized on set using real-time rendering technology. With the aid of tracked virtual camera rigs, director James Cameron could physically move through empty capture stages while viewing a fully composited digital world through monitors connected to live rendering engines. This required tightly integrated engineering systems. Stage tracking networks synchronized physical camera motion with its digital position inside the CG environment. Lens data, focus distance, camera orientation, and movements were all continuously transmitted into rendering software. This allowed shots to be composed with cinematic accuracy even though the worlds and characters weren't physically there. Engineering teams combined the performance capture data, camera tracking telemetry, and GPU accelerated rendering into a single workflow. This gave Cameron and his team immediate visual feedback allowing creative decisions to be made during filming instead of months later in post-production. The fusion of real-time computation, spatial tracking, and virtual simulation allowed Avatar, Fire, and Ash to be shot more like a live action film even though almost every environment existed digitally. Which is yet another example of how engineering doesn't just support storytelling, it helps shape how stories can be filmed. Today we trace the engineering chain that brought Avatar Fire and Ash to life. From capturing authentic performances underwater to filming inside fully digital environments using virtual production tools, Avatar 3 Fire and Ash showcases what happens when cinematic ambition meets real world engineering. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit News, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering. And a special thank you to the Ming Shei Institute at USC Viterbi for making this episode possible.